So I'm going to make a lemon garlic marinade for some chicken to put on the grill tonight. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, first of all, I need a, what, a third cup of fresh lemon juice. I'm going to squeeze these myself. Take my little reamer here and these are huge lemons I got from a friend of mine fresh off the tree yesterday. Look at that. Wow, uh, let's see. So I need a third of a cup. I got, wow, I got a quarter cup out of half of that one lemon. Now what I'm using here, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is a sink strainer. And I find this to be a really useful tool in the kitchen for doing things like this. It catches all the seeds and any of the other, of course, material from juicing the lemon. Wow. I got a, a third cup out of one lemon. These things are monsters, and they're great. They're so sweet. So I don't need that one. We'll get these out of the way. All right, got a little bowl here to mix it all in. I'm going to put my third cup of lemon juice in there. And I need a quarter cup of olive oil. You know what? I'm going to leave that to the end because I've learned something over the years. If I put my oil in my marinades early, the other spices don't disperse quite as well. If I put things in with my lemon juice, whisk that up, then add the oil at the end, the other flavors from these ingredients tend to disperse better into the lemon juice before it gets encapsulated by the oils that I put in. So I've got two tablespoons of finely diced red pepper. That's going to go in here. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic chopped up really fine. That's going to go in here. We need one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. That looks just about right. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I always like to crack my own fresh. And frankly, I'm a pepper fan, so I oftentimes put a little bit more. That looks about right. We need a half a teaspoon of salt. I like to use non-iodized salt. Just has better flavor. Now I'm going to whisk that up. Did I show it in the camera? Not too well. But maybe over here it will. Let's see. Look at that. So see, I put all that into the, the lemon juice and that can start dispersing its flavors before I add my olive oil. That way my salt can also dissolve pretty well. Now I'm going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. There we go. things out of the way. Now, I oftentimes like to use a, a broad flat dish to do marinating in so I can get my meats to be in more contact. If you use a curved bowl, the meat in the bottom of the bowl gets contact with your marinade and unless you've totally submerged it, filled the bowl full of marinade, the other things don't you know, get it. 
You can also do it in like a Ziploc bag. Put all your meat in the Ziploc bag and then um, put your marinade in there and you can squeeze it around and move it around, let, let it sit in the fridge for however long that you need. That's a nice way to be able to coat the meats really well. So here's my boned chicken quarters. I, I boned these earlier. Now I'm going to set aside some of this marinade, just a little bit, maybe a quarter cup, because I want to use that for basting on the grill later. So you may need a touch more than that. There we go. Like that. Okay, that's about right. That'll be for basting my meat on the grill. Now this, I'm going to pour into my pan here. Get every last drop. Yeah, there we are. Then I'll just take my chicken quarters one by one, put them in there, roll them around, get them nice and coated. And now this is going to be in here a few hours. Um, you know, so I'll come and I'll, I'll turn these things a few times before we get to the grilling hour. That way we're ensured that everybody gets flavored. There we go. Now I like to, to use, um, chicken thighs and chicken legs for these kind of dishes, you know, the dark meat of the chicken has more flavor. And consequently, it stands up really well against little stronger tasting marinating uh, ingredients. If you use breast meat, that's fine, but you might want to be a little more delicate about how much uh, garlic you use or how much pepper, because you don't want to overwhelm the flavor of that more delicate white meat of the chicken. But this is a great way to work with the dark meat. There we go. All right. Let me show that to you here. Perfect. I'm going to put a lid on that, and that goes in the refrigerator until it's time to grill. All right, here we go. Put the meat on. Let's see, where's my tools? Do you want me to help you? No, I can do this one-handed. I can help you. Look at that. So the grill's been on high. The burners are quite hot, which means I should probably turn these down. And we go meat side down to start and we close that down and let's see what happens I gotta keep an eye on this thing though make sure the flames in there don't get too high if it starts dripping fat they will add heat to the grill okay time to turn these over ah oh, look at that they look wonderful. Now, they're going to stick just a little bit, so I just want to loosen them as I turn. Ah, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Here we go. Now I'm going to baste these with some of the marinade that I set aside. I use the fresh marinade because the other, you know, has had meat in it sitting in it all day long. And this is nice and fresh and it won't have any of the, the residual bacteria or anything. Um, now the other thing I gotta be aware of now is the, the skin side is down and it's going to be heating and there's fats under the skin 
that'll release down into the the burners in the flame area, and that might cause see loose flare-ups. That might cause little flares that I have to be aware of and not let that kind of get ahead of me. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. Okay, it's just been a minute or so since I turned them. Let's see what's going on. Oop, yeah, we're getting a little more flame in there, but everything looks fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, my accompaniments are going to be grilled potatoes. They're going to go on this upper burner, and they're just going to heat and brown in the grill. I pre-cooked these a little bit in the microwave oven, and then I rolled them in olive oil. And that will be delicious. After the chicken's done, we're going to have our vegetable mix, snow peas and carrots. They're going to go in a grill basket over the flame. And this is going to be a wonderful meal. So I'm going to check the temperature on my meat here with a electronic thermometer, digital thermometer. Let's see, is that coming on? Turn the right button here. There we go. Let's see how we're doing. What's it say we're at? 118, 100. Okay, we got a little ways to go. I want to go for about 140, I think. Let me check one of these thinner pieces. 130, okay. See, that's going a little faster. Um, and you got to remember, when I take these off the grill, they're going to continue cooking for a little bit. So I want to get them off just a little bit early because they have to sit for a little while while I finish my vegetables and my potatoes. That one's 150, all right. They're coming off. Time to do vegetables. All right, here. Thank you, madame. They call me Vanna. Oops, that's sticking a little. Let me get my spatula because I don't like tearing skin off. I love having this nice grilled skin. Oops, I still lost a little bit of the skin there. Dropping it down the grill. These are simply um, rolled in sesame oil and a little salt. All right, here we go. And we've got the right music for it, too. Those look lovely. A little bit of browning. They're all nicely cooked and heated through. Perfect. Turn that burner off. Get our potatoes off the grill here. Uh, look at nicely brown. Lovely. We're having a feast tonight. Yeah. Delicious. Thank you, darling. Here we go. One over here. <laughs> How pretty that is. Nice colors. Mm -hmm. Carrot. Thank you. You're welcome. Nope. 
This is tricky doing this with tongs. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever done that before. That's kind of fun. I like it. This is like one of those games that... Oh. Mole. <laughs> you want more than one potato to no, start? Darling, no, just you. one? I'm going to do two to start. I have to do that. Ah, Yay! Mm -hmm. Time to eat. Mm, does smell really good. <laughs>